This is part six. So I've got the left head in and here's a little comparison. This is the one I redid or kind of refreshed a little bit. I still have to do the right head. Here's another quick view of old versus new. But first, back here, there's a water pipe that goes right back there. And I have to connect that to the back of the head. So I'm gonna do that first. And then I also reattached, there's a bracket right here that goes to the head. I did that as well. I also forgot that I wanted to tape over the intake manifold holes for the left side since I already cleaned that out. So I think actually the first thing I'm gonna do is attach the exhaust manifold to the head. So I'm just gonna fit the new gasket. Okay, now I'm gonna try and lift the exhaust manifold onto the posts. To get the exhaust manifold on, I had to take this section of pipe and push it up from underneath along with that cat right there. So I got the exhaust manifold back on the posts. I enlisted the help of my lovely wife while I held uh, below and supported it. I had her thread on the first bolt or the first nut. So now I can go about threading them, threading the rest. So I can't actually reach my hand back there to fit the washers and the nuts on. So I've got a magnet taped to my wrench and I'm gonna try and use that to put the washers on. Okay, so the exhaust manifold right there is on. And I put the heat shield on. I think I'm gonna call that a day cause that was difficult. So it's day eight. And I started by putting this section of the exhaust pipe where the left and the right bank meet back together since I already have the left exhaust manifold on. So now that I got that exhaust manifold on, I can move over to this side and do this exhaust manifold which is gonna be a lot easier. So the major things I'm gonna to do today are take off this water pipe that goes back here behind the heads, cause it's gonna be easier for me to get the gasket in there if I can just take this off. So I've got a bracket over here and then it attaches to the back of the head here and I believe these are just inserted O-ring fittings. Okay. Got the screws out of the connection that goes to the head. Now I need to do the bracket. So I got the bolt from this bracket right here. And now I can I can disconnect this pipe. There's three things I have to disconnect from the head now to take it off. There's the exhaust manifold. There's a little electrical connector right here. And then back here, there's actually a bracket for like a fuel line that goes right back there. So I got the bolts of the heat shield off. So I'm just gonna take that off right now. And now I can get to the exhaust manifold. The right exhaust manifold should be much easier than the left because I couldn't get the EGR pipe off or the heat shield, so I had to kind of work around that. But these, I can actually get a breaker bar and a ratchet on, so I did the hard side first.
Before I loosen the nuts on the exhaust manifold, I've got a block of wood kind of spanning this gap so that it doesn't fall down into the engine compartment. So I got the bolts off the posts. Now I'm going to remove the exhaust manifold. I'm just going to rest it on my block right there. Next, I'm going to take the right valve cover off so I can get to the head bolts. Okay, I've got all the valve cover screws loosened, and I'm going to try and lift the valve cover off now. There's still one left. Oh, gosh. Next, I'm going to remove the cylinder head bolts, and they need to be loosened in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sequence. Now that I've got all the head bolts unthreaded, I can just take them out. Also, don't forget to keep track of your head bolt washers. I'm going to reuse those. That concludes this part of the series. Don't forget to check the description for more information, and I'll see you in the next part.